Hello everybody, it's your boy N here. I'm coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So in today's video, it is going to be the best polyatomic ion particle form within the first descendant. So without further ado guys, let's get right on into today's video. Before we do that though, real quick, my creator code is going to be on screen right now and my Discord server is going to be linked in the description. If anyone needs any help or just wants a nice, cool, chill place to hang out and talk about the first descendant, that is the place to go. Now with all of that out of the way, let's actually get on into today's video. So first of all, let's go on over what it is you are actually going to need for this farm. Now, being completely honest, there is not a single thing that you actually need for this farm. However, I do recommend running bunny or ultimate bunny for this farm because with bunny or ultimate bunny, you're able to go fast and that is essentially all you actually need. Once you are all set up, you're gonna wanna fast travel to this point over in the fortress on screen right now so once you have landed yourself over in the fortress what you are going to want to do is run this mission called the command relay now this is a barrier defense mission type of thing and what you are essentially going to do is run the mission throughout the course of the mission three elite enemies are going to spawn and you're just going to want to take them out now the first one will spawn fairly quickly the second one will spawn in a little bit after outside of the circle and the third one will spawn dead center in the middle of the circle now i'm joining this mission because there's already other players running it and as you can see over there my man has literally just taken out one of the elites and uh, we got a drop for a sensor part instead now all you literally have to do is just run this mission on repeat and just make sure to take care of the enemies and once the three elite spawn you are essentially good to kill them and pick yourself up some polyatomic ion particle now as you can see over here i'm on the second phase of this mission i believe it is and i am going to just you know run around with bunny take care of all the enemies with the aoe and then once the elite spawn i will be taking them out there you go that's one of the elite enemies right over there we've just taken him out and instead of getting the polyatomic ion particle in that instance we got us another uh, golden component so, people, you're so to get go this started what you are going to want to do is go on over to the map and go on over to the fortress the mission that we are going to be running is the command relay mission and that is the closest fast travel point to get to the mission so once we have spawned in i will give you a quick rundown on what it is that we need to do so now that we are spawned in all you're going to want to do is just run down here, start the mission up, and then give it a shot and do it all in its entirety. Simple as that. Now, there's no catch. This is fast, I promise you. So, all you're going to want to do is just make sure that you are using some sort of AoE, whether it be with Bunny, Ajax, Lepic, you know, whichever other descendant you wanted to be using for this mission. All you got to want to make sure is that you are essentially just killing all the enemies as fast as you can. Now, killing the enemy will be the difference between a slow run and a fast run. And I believe in this gameplay, I get this run done in under two minutes. But as you can see, the first elite enemy already spawned. And we already got eight polyatomic ion particles. Nice and easy. So, from here, you're just going to want to make sure you keep the mission going. And you're just going to want to make sure that you keep respawning. And uh, you're just going to make sure that you take care of all the enemies. And just the faster that you get the kills is going to be uh, the faster the mission goes. So, doing this solo is still doable in under two minutes, but running it with a party or a team of other people is going to also help you significantly more. So, once you are done with uh, all of this, the second elite enemy is going to spawn outside of the circle. You'll get a little red marker just like that right over there, and you are just going to want to make sure that you take care of him, nice and easy, and again, boom polyatomic ion particle so as you can see we've got 11 that time so we've got just under 20 already and we've only been doing this for about a mission uh, sorry about a mission we've only been doing this for about a minute minute and a half at max now the final boss is going to spawn in shortly after this dead center in the middle of this circle so you are just going to want to essentially grab this boss Take him by his reins, take him out, and this boss can also give polyatomic ion particle, or this boss can give you another golden HP, uh, HP, sorry, golden component drop, or something along them lines. So, you know, the results from this one can vary a little bit, but either way, if you get particles, you're balling. If you don't, I mean, free gold drop. There you go. As you can see, we got a reactor from him that time, so, you know, a golden drop. But simple as that. All you're going to want to do is just run the mission again and again, the pain of first ascendant i guess people but there you go just under two minutes and just under 20 polyatomic ion particle so this is nice and fast and will help the masses out significantly 
Anyway guys, that's been this video and I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please do smash that like button and if, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing. This has basically been the fastest farm that I know of as of right now at least to get yourself polyatomic iron particles. So yeah, that's this video. Smash that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!